Look, I get it. Science is science. <laughs> What do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express, a very ticked off Vic here. You know what ticks me off? The 50 different hurricane models that predict the path of the storm. Now, follow me. I, I get it that science is really advanced and we can warn people much earlier nowadays and even get a good idea of where a hurricane might be going. But when they show you a million different colored lines on the screen and they're curving all over the place and some are turning south and some are turning north and there's always that one stray fucking line like a fucking ingrown hair that just goes off on its own like a hippie chick on mushrooms dancing at a Grateful Dead concert. I mean, what's the fucking point of all these models? You have the American model, you have the European model, you have the UK model, you even have the NWS Geophysical Fluid Dynamics Laboratory model where your roof blows off before you can even finish saying the fucking name of the model. There's like a hundred different models that try to predict the hurricane path. Here's a fucking model I want to see. How about your sister's ass model? That's where the fucking track of the storm always goes right between her cheeks, up into her balloon knot, through her intestines, up the trachea, and comes out her mouth in the form of a fucking burp. How about that model? How about the runway model? That, that's where the hurricane doesn't feed off the warm ocean water. Instead, it lives off cigarettes, soda, and cocaine, and needs to gain about 40 fucking pounds before it slams into the coastline where it meets a rich husband and pops out a few kids and watches Housewives of New Jersey every fucking night. How about the Brooklyn hurricane model? That's where it doesn't predict where it will make landfall. Oh, no, it just hangs out over the ocean in an alley and says, Hey, you got a beach? You got to go to the beach I go to. How about those models to predict the hurricane path? So I'm watching the news today, and I see the hurricane is getting closer to Florida. And now they show the American model having the hurricane hit north and the European model says it will hit south. And the other 48 models are saying, uh, what do you want from me? Here's what I would like to see happen. But what do I know? Who am I? Why should I make any fucking sense of this whole situation? How about the scientists look back at the last 10 hurricanes, just the last 10 as a start. Then look at what each model predicted and then figure out which model has been the most correct. Maybe it is two or three of them. Then show us only those models, three of them. Do I need to see multicolored fucking strings of linguine representing all the possible hurricane paths, including the wild ass hair model that turns right at the Bahamas and makes a beeline for Bolivia? Look, I get it. Science is science. But some science isn't like two plus two. I get it. Thank God we can get warnings the way we do and we can get an idea of where a storm might be going. And I get that over time it gets easier to, to figure out where it will hit. But we don't need 50 hurricane models showing us what they all think because that's when some people start to get skeptical and think, well, wait a minute now, why aren't all the models showing the exact same thing? And then you get those mutants start getting conspiracy theories and, and telling you that it's all fake and the world is flat and you don't need vaccinations and then the whole fucking thing turns to shit because 30% of the people are fucking morons. The 50 different hurricane models that predict the path of a storm, that's what ticks me off.